Shalom Yashra'ala. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Chakurash, the bunch of the apostles, and others. Great Muslim, who rule well, who tells us truth, and salutations to Allah Akim, pushing this word in truth and in sincerity with charity. This is Proverbs chapter 1, verse 20. Wisdom crieth without, she uttereth her voice in the streets. She crieth in the chief place of concourse, in the openings of the gates. In the city she uttereth her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. For you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, and the speckled bird, the Israelite foreigners, hey, the, the Lord has his prophets on the highways and byways, on these street corners, man. All right, being a spectacle to the world, bringing out wisdom, all right, the wisdom from the heavens, from the Lord, you know. But yeah, our, our people, uh, they go after the ways of this world, thinking that, hey, if I get the bag, if I got the cars, the fame, you know, the, the big houses, the opportunity, the free time to travel and do what you want, that, hey, that you're doing the right thing, that, you know what I mean, that's, that's godliness, you know what I'm saying, that the Lord is blessing you and all, all right. And that's so far from the truth. I mean, everything everything comes from the Lord. But the chief thing to get is this wisdom. To know and understand Yahweh Bashi Shai. You see? Because this, this place that you see, everything you that's here is temporal. It's not going to last. It's not forever. And you can't take it with you. You see? We're actually in captivity. All right? Verse 22 again. How long, ye simple ones, will you love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. And... You know, ultimately, two thirds of our people they hate the truth. All right, they don't want to hear uh, wisdom. You know, that's why they scoff and scorn. But verse twenty-three: Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit onto you. I will make known my words unto you. And how does he do that? By the Lord reveals his secrets unto his servants, the prophets, and the prophets come out to the highways and byways and bring out this truth. You know, showing our people where they go wrong and showing them the correct way you see and telling them about this world that this place is just temporal all right and it's not our kingdom it's not our rest verse 24 behold i have called and ye refused i have stretched out my hand and no man regarded but ye have set at naught all my counsel and with none of my reproof i also will laugh at your calamity i will mock when your fear cometh when your fear cometh as desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. You know, because here it is, you have the liberty to do what is right, and, and Jake doesn't take that opportunity. They, they actually offend and commit sin upon sin, all right, and refuse instruction, refuse wisdom, you see. And the Lord is so long-suffering and merciful, and yet he still has this opportunity out there for, for you know, Jake to get. But really, it's only for the elect, man. We know through the word of the Lord that hey, only the elect are going to return, you see? So when the two-thirds, hey, when, when, when the judgment comes, they're going to be crying. They're going to be saying, oh, what's that name again those guys were saying, you know? They're going to be looking for answers. They're going to be looking for the man of the Lord, and they're not going to find it, man. Because they think right now that they're in a good case, that they're in a good situation, all right? That everything's going to go back to normal, when really things are, uh, are evils are only going to increase, all right? And you see how bad it's getting right now in the green tree. So imagine when it's dry. Imagine when, when the lights go out in America and Jacob's trouble is on full blast. All right, these people are going to have no hope, nowhere to turn to, you see? Because right now, just because you're doing good in Babylon doesn't mean um, you're going to be delivered from the times to come. You know? The best thing to do is to have Yahweh Bashim Yahushai on your side. You know, to have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding so that you're stable for the times to come. Trusting in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, fearing the Lord. You see? But this is a verse. Yeah. Verse 29, for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. You know, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the first step of being accepted of him. All right. You got to fear the Lord, man. All right. 
then you won't fear Esau, you won't fear anybody else. You know the Lord's in control of everything. All right, he, you know he could jack us up, so hey, you're going to be moved to serve him the way he wants to be served, the way it's illustrated out in the scriptures. And the Lord has his prophets out there, you know, feeding us with what? Wisdom and knowledge according to his heart, you know. But this is back in, in Proverbs, right? Uh, verse uh, 30. They would none of my counsel. They despise all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. You see? Because they were leading them to their own understanding. They thought that, hey, I'm doing good. You know, the Lord has blessed me. I got such and such things. You know what I'm saying? You think prosperity is godliness when it's not. All right? Taking heed to the to the Lord, Yahweh Bashem El Shai. All right? And, and doing His will, that is godliness. You see? But this is verse 33. But whosoever hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil. Right? So those that take heed are going to prepare themselves. Those are, those are the ones that are, are going to be kept and preserved. All right, who gathered fear for a treasure, the fear of the Lord. You see? And that's why we, we always got to, uh, um, you know, test these people out, try the spirit, all right? Because in, in Christianity and these, these false religions, they all push that, hey, we got to be getting the bag. We got to be doing these things. We got to uh, become successful because then that shows that God is dealing with us and working with us, and that's so far from the truth. See it? The Lord, He chose the, the lowly of the world, all right? The, one, uh, the, the, the ones that uh, the world looks at as insignificant, as nobodies, all right? From the nation of Israel. Those are the ones the Lord chose, man, all right? And we confound the world with this wisdom. But this is 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse uh, 3. If any man teach otherwise and consent not to wholesome words, even the words of our Lord, Yahweh Mashiach, into the doctrine which is according to godliness, you see, he is proud, knowing nothing but doting about questions and strifes of words, whereof cometh envy, strife, railings, evil, evil surmisings, perverse disputings of men of corrupt minds, and destitute of the truth, supposing that gain is godliness. From such withdraw thyself, you see. If they're speaking not according to this word, there's no light in them. All right, if they're talking about this world stuff or like in Christianity, yeah, you know, bring up your tithes, all right, and then the Lord's going to bless you, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that the the, past, the 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 pastor is living in a mansion, got a jet, making millions, and not taking, you know, uh, care of the flock, you know, and that's one thing, really giving the flock lies and bullshit, you know, hey, that's another thing. That's a, that's a very heavy offense, man. Here it is. Uh, uh, you know, we're made overseers of the flock, but there's some of us that are pastors, you know, these Christians, that is, that teach otherwise, man, that want to keep our people in darkness so that they could keep their high positions, all right, and keep that bankroll rolling. And you see, that's, that's the people we're dealing with, man, two-thirds, you see? Verse, uh, verse 7. For we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. And having food and raiment, let us be therefore there with content. You see, so be happy that we got clothes and that we got food. That we got this daily bread, especially this word, all right, the word of the Lord, you see. Because hey, the ungodly, all right, they, they think uh, gaining the world is, is, is godliness, man. All right, but they're going to lose their life, all right. They're going to try to turn into the Most High, and the Most High is not going to hear them. All right, He's going to laugh at them, man. But they that, verse 9, but they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare, and into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. You see? So these people, they, they go after their belly like Esau eat them. You see, that's why John 8 and, 40, 8 and 44 exists, that you are your father the devil. You know, they're just like Esau, Edom, going after their lust. So, yeah, you know, uh, these people are just led into destruction at the end of the day. All right, and not to the Lord, not to wisdom, you see. 
who did his wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14, verse 22. Moreover, this was not enough for them that they erred in the knowledge of God, that they erred in the knowledge of God, but whereas they lived in the great war of ignorance, those so great plagues called they peace. You see, because they trust in, in oppression, man. And that's a two thirds of our people. They really trust in this, man. You see, you know, Jake wants a nine to five and, and have the weekends off. And they want to do that for the rest of their life until so-called retirement. You know, when they could have so much more, you see, because the Lord Yahweh came to give us life. And, and they came, hold on, let me just get it real quick. Instead of quote it, um, yeah, John 10 and 10, the thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come, this is Yahweh Shai, that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly, you see? And, and, our, and our people are so ignorant, they refuse this, man. They trust in oppression, they trust in Esau, Edom, right? They, 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 they go to fill their eyes, their bellies, you know, their wants. Their, their, their lusts, their desires, you know, instead of uh, seeking the face of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, seeking the Lord, you know, they understand that this is this is our captivity. You know, America, the word America means bitter. You know, this this place is not supposed to be a, a paradise for us. This is Micah chapter two verse ten. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with a sword destruction. All right? So we got to depart from the ways of America, the ways of Esau, Edom. All right? His kingdom is going down. His kingdom is not going to last forever. All right? His kingdom has an end. Because the way he lives and, and he pushes it on the world, all right, it's a death style. You see? This is Hebrews 13, verse 14. For here... Have we no continuing city, but we seek one to come? Those that are awake, those that know and understand Yahweh Bashmael Shah, we seek the kingdom, man. And it's coming, it's already prepared. All we gotta do is watch. Watch for these prophecies to come to pass and wait diligently for our Lord Yahweh Bashmael Shah, who's coming to save us, man. You see? He's gonna refresh this whole world and we're gonna live in the kingdom of heaven, man. The earth is Aidan, you know, a paradise or a joy. And we're going to be dwelling in that forever, all right, in righteousness, all right, where all good things are, even rest, you see? We're finally going to be on top, man, and we're never going to move from that position, all right, because the kingdom of Yahawashai is a kingdom with no end, and we're going to be joint heirs with him, you see? And that's why, A, the seers... Uh, um, they can see you far off, man. You gotta have vision when you read these things, and you gotta have the spirit ultimately. You see, because the, the Lord doesn't reveal this to everybody, only His servants, the prophets, man. You see, verse fifteen: By Him, therefore, let us offer the sacrifice of praise to the Most High continually. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to His name. So we gotta praise you, Hawabashimel Shai. You see, the Lord makes it rain on the just and the unjust. Everything that, that everyone has is, is from the Lord, man. You see? And, and two-thirds of our people don't recognize the Lord. They think JC did it or some different idol did it you, or they themselves did it. When really it's the Lord that did everything and does everything. You see? They don't give him his credit. Verse 16, but to do good and to, com and to communicate, forget not. Right, or bring out this truth. All right? To love your, your brother like you love yourself, man. Love your neighbor. All right? Know who your neighbor is. You know? By, by these two hang the whole law. You know, fear the Most High. And, and, you know, keep the commandments. And to love your neighbor as yourself, man. All right? And, and, not to, and it says to communicate, forget not. Right? To bring out the truth. The, the correct doctrine. All right? Because, hey, this, this, is, uh, this comes... Uh, a great reward comes with this you see here it is uh, uh, we're closing up the breaches all right we're, we're uh, uh, converting souls man all right and when we wake other brothers up and, and the, few, the few sincere sisters hey that covers a multitude of sins for us you see because we've all fallen short man so doing this work correctly and directly you know dividing the word 
feeding the flock properly the truth, hey man, th there's a great uh, reward for that. And the Lord's coming with a reward for the righteous and for the wicked, man. So wh 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 what kind of sacrifice do you want to be giving up, you see? For with such sacrifices, the Most High is well pleased, right? To to be in this truth, walking in the truth, man. You know, uh, let me get there real quick. I love the scripture right here. One second. Yeah, the, uh, third, the third book of John, for, uh, chapter 1, verse 4. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. You see? We're the, 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 the peacemakers, man. We're closing up the breaches. All right, you know, uh, leading the elect to Yahweh Shai. We're the, the porter. All right, we're leading him to the door, and the door is Yahweh Shai, man. All right, so that's something that we can't take lightly, you see? Because that prosperity doctrine is going to uh, destroy the majority of our people, man. Our, the, our people are lost following after that bullshit, you see? And we, yeah, we may be at the bottom, but hey, we're going to be on top very soon, all right? Because they, we chose the fear of the Lord. Ultimately, the Lord chose us. You see, but we, we cleave on to the fear of the Lord. You see, and we're we're here to do His will. All right. And with that, I hope this lesson was edifying and exhorting. Again, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Chakurash, double honors to the apostles and those great millstone who rule well, who taught us the truth, and salutations to the Akiyam, pushing this way of truth, innocence, and sincerity with charity. Shalom, Wa Kwam Yashara.